I and the women in my life, some passed by and some met by chance. Please sit down and listen to Fong Dong Dong tell one vivid yet regrettable story after another. Chapter 1 First Encounter with Old Wang You are listening at NovelFull.audio I write one irrelevant story after another, commemorating one person after another who loves but cannot. There will never be a second Old Wang in my life again. Thinking of Old Wang now, I couldn't help but raise the corner of my mouth. This silly girl. Lao Wang is quite a beautiful girl, with a tall stature of 1.72 meters, long legs of 1.8 meters, and a head of hair that is draped over her shoulders, as well as the always present Yushi smoke. The reason why she is called Lao Wang is because she says she sounds domineering like this, and I get used to her. Over time, it makes Lao Wang unable to change. The first time I met old Wang was at a friend's wedding. To be honest, it's really numb to not get married, so I just ate with the gift. However, that gift was really worth it. At the beginning of the wedding, I noticed that the bridesmaid behind the bride was really beautiful. Grandma Lee's appearance perfectly matched my aesthetic judgment, so from the banquet onwards, my displeased eyes stared at her and never left her. When the person dispersed, I didn't move my chopsticks in front of me a few times. But in this era, there are not many beautiful girls. In just a few days, I will forget about those beautiful bridesmaids and regret not making those big elbows that flow red at weddings. One night, not to mention at night. Who hasn't had a nightlife since the 2000s? Around 1.30 in the morning, I just finished playing mahjong with a few friends and won some money and walked home happily. When I arrived at a street lamp not far from home, my underpants almost scared me. I saw a figure with a disheveled hair under the street lamp. My cold sweat went from my heel to the back of my head, and my crotch was wet. I stood still in place, afraid to move. About five minutes, anyway, the damp heat under my pants has turned into a damp and cold place. I didn't even see that clump of hair rushing towards me, so I thought it wouldn't be a problem to just waste it like this. If you want to kill, you'll have to move and move. Come on, today Xiaoming told me that this is also a contribution to the study of human ghosts and gods. I bravely walked directly to the street lamp and suddenly looked over. Good guy, she's still a female ghost, but when I saw drunk like this, she shouldn't be a ghost, maybe a girl. I put my heart in my stomach, stared at her, and it was happy. This is not my companion sister. Zima. I estimate that this can be considered as half an acquaintance, and it's not appropriate for such a beautiful girl to just lie under the streetlight for a night in love and reason. I poked her with the empty wine bottle scattered next to her, and the girl opened her eyes drowsily, staring at me dumbfounded. Girl, you're drinking, there was no answer. It's already two o'clock, there was no answer. Why don't you go to my house and deal with it for the night? Don't worry, man, a gentleman. After saying this, I thought about withdrawing without answering the man again. Okay, this is the first time I've heard Old Wong's voice. Later on, when I recalled it, Old Wong was smoking and giggling, Old Fong, you're really good. You let me go with you in just three sentences. I shrugged helplessly, I didn't expect you to agree at once. Looking back, why did you just leave with me? It's so hasty, uh huh, number 34, women won't forget a pervert who's staring at them so quickly. Lao Wang gave me a big white eye. Number 34, that's not even worse than leaving with me. I rewarded old Wang with a brain ache. A larger white eye flew over with a big foot. Chapter 2 Charming Big Sister You are listening at NovelFull.audio at the moment, I was walking ahead with half a bottle of wine, and the bridesmaid followed me in a daze. To outsiders, that scene may seem like a aftermath of domestic violence. When I got home, I quickly ran into the bedroom and threw the blanket onto the sofa. Then, pointing to the girl, I said, you can sleep on the sofa. It's air-conditioned and not cold. Then, I flew back to the bedroom like flying, locked the door, covered the blanket on the bed, 
and went to sleep. It was easy to say, but in fact, it's not that easy. My friend is not the one who sits still, but I think we shouldn't take advantage of the danger at this time why did I let a girl sleep on the sofa? Quiet your sister's nonsense, let her sleep in bed, a lonely man and a widowed daughter, the moon is dark and the wind is high. If it were you, could you bear it? It's okay for two lovers to be happy together. This one is not unfamiliar, but it's a man of iron and tenderness. If we go any further, that's not possible. With half a night of mahjong, it's really tiring, and I'll soon fall asleep. The next morning, I got up early and pushed open the bedroom door. Oh, the girl got up earlier than me. As I walked over, she quickly extinguished the cigarette in her hand and ran to me in two or three steps, scaring the man so much that he couldn't even pee. The great kindness is not to be thanked, the life.saving kindness will be repaid in the future. Before I could finish speaking, I watched the girl step out with half of her foot. My emotions withdrew directly. With the sound of the door closing, I was left alone in the room again. If it weren't for the neatly stacked quilt on the sofa, I would even suspect that there might have been such a thing going on. But didn't this girl mention the grace of saving lives? This can also be considered as accumulating virtue and doing good deeds, Amit Ba Buddha. After sitting on the sofa for three minutes, someone suddenly knocked on the door. As soon as I opened the door, I couldn't help but laugh. The bridesmaid girl had returned. I was taken aback for a moment, and the girl walked in gracefully again, looking at me affectionately, later remembered that her gaze was clearly a threat. There's no place to go, is it okay to stay for two days? Sure, I nodded without thinking, does it mean much to be alone? After listening, the girl spread out on the sofa. I had nothing to do, so I collapsed on the other side and remained quiet. The girl had already picked up a cigarette. The girl was smoking cigarettes, one after another, and my small ashtray was soon full. Perhaps she couldn't bear to watch it bear the unbearable weight of life. I whispered, so, smoking, smoking, smoking is harmful to health. After saying that, I regretted it. Is this a human language? The result was really unexpected. The girl immediately extinguished her cigarette after listening to me. W.C., are you so obedient? I was surprised when the girl spoke again, my name is Wang Nijia, and they all call me Nini. Jiajia is so tacky and feminine. I think we have such a good relationship. If you call me old Wang, you'll fall for it, said Dijia. N.I.N.I. -I, -I. I don't know why, but I, who is usually smooth-tongued, was also suppressed by her strong social energy and didn't dare to ask more questions. She reluctantly spoke up, Fong Dong Dong, then you can call me Old Fong. Prison. So distinctive. She chuckled, and I laughed too. In this bizarre era, two familiar people become strangers in an instant, and it is not difficult for two unfamiliar strangers to become familiar. In less than two hours, Lao Wang and I became familiar with each other as if we had grown up naked, even though we knew nothing about each other's stories at that time. Chapter 3 Yushi Comrades You are listening at NovelFull.audio Although we may seem strangers to Lao Wang, we share a lot of common interests, such as late-night pesticides and staying up all night rubbing hemp the most precious thing is that both Lao Wang and I love Yushi cigarettes the most, but her addiction is much greater than mine. Usually, I can catch three or four cigarettes in a box, and the rest of the time I pitifully watch her, wasting one cigarette after another. Hee <laughs> hee, not to mention Lao Wang's dominance, there are also quite a few benefits. She relied on her hands that were superb at drawing, but in just three days, she brought me to the strongest king in the eternal diamond eternal. Zero stars, and even more impressive, Lao Wang's mahjong was truly superb. On the first day of taking her to play mahjong, my goodness, I never saw her pay any money. She either touched herself or was fired, and my three dog friends hugged me for a moment. They were careful to ask me on WeChat where I had invited such a great god, but I didn't reply to them. I couldn't tell them it was me in the middle of the night. 
I picked it up on the street to be honest, being with Lao Wang for those two weeks was the most carefree time of my life. The boring holidays became more enjoyable. During the day, she helped me win money, and at night, she helped me earn points. This kind of confused fairy life was really good. We won several more dollars that day, and we agreed to go out and arrange a better meal. Self-help. I suggested. All right, that's it, Old Wong decided with a final decision. I think I may never be able to enjoy such a satisfying self.service experience again. Old Wong and I are like two refugees from the 1970s, eating whatever we meet, and looking at the waiter like staring at a monster. But we don't care either. After we finish eating, we drink freely, white, beer, red, green we made whatever we needed, and after eating for almost three hours, we were finally escorted out of the store with a bright smile by the waiter. Old Wong drank unsteadily, and I didn't feel any better. I couldn't even walk steadily. Old Wong laughed at me and said, Old house, you useless material, and you can't even walk this thing smoothly. My legs were not smooth, and my mouth was not weak, so I immediately retorted, You're still talking about me, I don't think you're doing well either. Hey, look at the car, tigers. Damn it. You don't want to mess around, silly kid. Have a drink and say that to me. It's useless. I hurt you so much, sob, Old Wong pretended to cry. Watching Old Wong wagging his big tongue and hurting me, I didn't even argue back with her. Anyway, I can't stand her, Grandma. Two half-drunk men helped each other as they walked home, seeming to sway left and right faster than anyone else. After less than ten steps of silence, Old Wong grabbed my neck and shouted, Old house, give me a whole cigarette, I've been holding it for half a day. I touched my pocket and asked Old Wong in reverse, isn't it with you? What do you want with me? As soon as Lao Wang heard this, his hair exploded and he hugged my waist and was about to pinch it. I didn't hesitate either. I pulled her hair and pinched her face, ready to fight back. At this critical moment, Lao Wang, who always waited for me to surrender, wilted this time. Sister, it's overeating, he said watching Lao Wang soften up once in a while, I felt good and said, wait for A.O., the supermarket next to the internet cafe across the street is open. I'll go buy a box, and you wait here obediently for A.O., Bowsy. I teased old Wong with a smile and left triumphantly, but what puzzled me was, why didn't this man scold me and leave this time? When I come back holding a cigarette and humming a song, I see old Wong sitting on the steps like a fool from afar, with his head buried in his long legs. I'm afraid this drunken man might not be tired, but he fell asleep sitting on the steps, right? I woke up half drunk, but don't, the man doesn't want to carry you home. I walked up casually, thinking of calling me Lao Wang. But as soon as I took two steps, she heard the commotion and lifted her head. Seeing her two bright red circles around her eyes, I woke up all at once. Chapter 4 Coming and Going Like the Wind You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. What's wrong, Grandma? Who bullied you? I'll chop him off for you. Old Wang still has red circles under his eyes, looking at me with a pair of big eyes, Old Fong, why are you treating me so well? Sai, aren't we good comrades in battle on the same trench? Besides, you're such a beautiful woman who follows me crazy every day, takes me to play games, and wins cards with you. Shouldn't you be filial to me? I stuck out my tongue and said, I have ulterior motives, haven't I? Is that all for? Isn't that all? I thought to myself, these are not enough. Didn't you order anything else? What else can there be? Oh my dear ancestor, don't think blindly. Let's walk home. Old Wang remained abnormal and was obediently dragged back home by me. Along the way, she didn't ask for a cigarette or speak poorly. When I got home, my head also hurt in waves, and I did drink a bit too much. I poured a cup of hot water for Lao Wang and another cup for myself. Lao Wang still sat slumped on the sofa, just like when she first came here. 
After drinking hot water, my headache eased a lot. I looked at old Wang and it seemed like it was almost over. I didn't give much advice, so I thought about it and went back to my room to sleep. As soon as I walked to the door, I heard old Wang calling my name, reciting sutras over and over again. I was about to yell at her to sleep soundly when I turned around, but I happened to meet her sharp gaze. Old house, do you want to sleep with me? I heard old Wang say softly. Think about it, who doesn't want to sleep like you, a girl like you? I said without thinking, and before she could say anything, I continued, but, old Wang, you know men can't do it. Let's just leave it alone. Look at my shabby house, I don't even have a second bedroom. In the years since graduation, I haven't seen how my savings have grown, uh -huh. After speaking, I didn't dare to look back at that tearful old Wang and went straight back to the room to sleep. Why? Nonsense, I'm really afraid I can't control it. The boundlessness of time has bound the years and blurred youth. Life is like this. When there are many opportunities and choices in front of you, you cannot even have the qualifications to seize and choose, because you know that even if you make the choices you think or some people think are right, you will not feel at ease. You understand that incorrect people, even if they are suitable, can only miss them with a smile. The next day when I woke up, it was already noon. I walked towards the living room rubbing my messy oil head, but I didn't see old Wang, who usually collapsed on the sofa. The scenes from last night instantly came to my mind, and the notes on the table also confirmed my hypothesis and old Wang's abnormality last night. Old house, sister has to leave. It's not a solution to keep wasting time with you. Thank you for taking care of me for so many days. I'm truly happy to have given you such a man. All right, I've been studying for many years. I don't know what to say, don't read. Old Wang. I held the note and smiled bitterly. This is Lao Wang, sharp and straightforward, without any dragging or dragging, without the fairy-like aura of a beautiful woman, but real enough. I called him and it took me a while before he answered. What's wrong, old Fong? You missed me just as you left. Old Wang regained his glib tongue. Get rough, I'll ask you, why do you just withdraw? Oh, won't I leave you a note? All right, it's time for me to hang up. I put down my phone, shook my head, and smiled. What a good old Wang, really your sister's temperament. Chapter 5 Meeting Again, Sorrow Brokens the Hearts You are listening at NovelFull.audio When Lao Wang first left a few days ago, I wasn't quite used to it. I guess she was the same, so I kept chatting on WeChat for half a day. However, as time went on, there wasn't much to say. Slowly, there was no contact with Lao Wang except for holiday greetings. I thought that old Wang's graceful figure would remain in my memory until that day when I received his phone call, I realized that the old Wang I remembered was far from the real one. On the other end of the phone was Lao Wang's voice, which was filled with grievances and tears, Old house, what are you doing? Old Wang. Sister, what's wrong with you? Hearing old Wang's tone that I had never heard before, my hair stood up all over my body. No, it's not much. I didn't miss you anymore, so I called you. On the other end of the phone, there was still a pitiful voice. Hey, Lao Wang, don't scare me. What's wrong with you? Based on my understanding of Lao Wang, this is not her speaking style at all, so I urgently asked. It's really nothing big, I just miss you. I can hear Lao Wang sobs. Where are you? The men are looking for you. I grabbed my clothes and prepared to go downstairs to find her, but even if I dared to ask, I couldn't find anything. Perhaps due to an inexplicable anxiety, according to the address sent by Lao Wang, the one-hour car arrived in three-quarters of an hour. When the disheveled old Wang opened the door for me and looked at the medicine bottles on the ground, I couldn't imagine how old Wang had survived these days. Old Wang's originally cold and beautiful face was full of haggard, and his once exquisite makeup had long disappeared. 
The old Wong in front of me made me feel heartbroken, but I didn't know what the cool and confident girl who had once talked and laughed in front of me had experienced. In the moment of my shock, I heard old Wong's crying, Old Fong, why didn't I meet you earlier? My mouth moved, but there was no sound. Faced with such an old Wong, I felt an inexplicable sense of powerlessness. All I could do was open my arms and give him all my warmth. I caressed Lao Wang's back, I couldn't believe she was so thin, but God knows what this body has endured. For a long time, Lao Wang left my embrace and sat on the sofa in a daze. She stopped crying, but her eyes remained dim. I took out Yushi from my pocket and handed her a cigarette. Old Wang took it and held it in his mouth, but it didn't light for a long time. I took out a lighter and lit it for her, but she said something nonsensical, it's Yushi. Half a pack of cigarettes went down, and old Wang's mood stabilized a lot. He gestured for me to sit down and then said to me, depression, it's okay, it's not that serious, and the state is sometimes good and sometimes bad. Do you want to know why? Just sit down honestly, and sister will tell you my story. Yes, it's the kind of little girl who has fallen in love with me. You must listen to me carefully and not feel bored. Lao Wang has an ex-boyfriend who used to talk to me, but she didn't pay much attention at the time. He and Lao Wang were together in their sophomore year of high school. At that time, early love was prohibited in the school, and of course, it is not allowed in high school now. They secretly engaged in an underground romance, but it couldn't stop on paper. They were in a period of passionate love, and the playground was caught by the teaching director and the on-duty principal. The next day, all the teachers and students of the school learned about this young couple through the radio. Following closely behind, Old Wang's parents and the parents of his grandson, sorry, I can't find any other names, were also invited to the school. The homeroom teacher called him, negotiated breakup, and under the gaze of five heavy guests, the grandson grabbed Old Wang's hand and didn't let go. He confidently promised Old Wang's parents, ah. Uncle and aunt, rest assured that I will take good care of Jiajia and not let her suffer any injustice. Chapter 6 When Love Becomes a Past You are listening at NovelFull.audio Although these lines didn't have any effect on Old Wang's father, and his grandson almost got an electric cannon, they moved Old Wang, who was still a little girl, so much. At that time, all I had in my mind was my idea that he would never marry in this lifetime. Old Wang pinched his cigarette and smiled as he said to me, his eyes seeming to regain their former demeanor. Later on, the grandson really kept his word. During his two years in high school, he didn't let Lao Wang suffer any injustice. He lived a harmonious life until the college entrance examination, and the scores of the two were almost the same. However, as the saying goes, filling out his preferences after the college entrance examination is the second time. This second college entrance examination really separated the two of them, one in the local area and the other in the other province. Lao Wang and her ideal husband were separated by more than 2,000 kilometers. In theory, the sky is high and the water is far away, and the two young people should also come to an end, right? Don't believe it, they really don't. More than 2,000 kilometers apart, at that time there was not as advanced information as it is now. The two of them maintained their relationship through phone calls, text messages, and multimedia messages every two days. Although the distance was far, their hearts seemed to be closer. Hey, listen carefully, this is just the beginning. Old Wang patted me off guard and continued speaking. There are always people who miss their youth, not the days of youth but the events and people of that time. The days of college passed day by day, and there were also many boys around him who pursued the graceful and beautiful Old Wang. However, at that time, Old Wang, who was full of desire to graduate and get married, had no intention of caring about these people at all. That grandson is really affectionate. He saved up half a year's money and sat in a hard seat for two days and one night to see Old Wang. Old Wang was once again deeply moved by him for a while, so he went to the hotel with him that evening. 
Lao Wang looked at me with a smile and said, What's wrong? It's already quite adult. There's no need to be surprised to hear this. I lowered my head and dusted the cigarette ash, smiling silently at old Wang, still pondering his current state in my heart. Finally, after two years of strict control and four years of long distance, the two of them finally got together. These years of separation made the two cherish this hard-dot-earned reunion even more. The two became even closer and inseparable, and soon it was time to discuss marriage. Old Wang's parents also changed from initially opposing to supporting. When everything seemed to have reached the end of happiness, the heavens played a small joke on Lao Wang because she vaguely realized that her boyfriend, who was accompanying her on a long journey of love, seemed to be cheating. At the beginning, I didn't believe it, Lao Wang's expression couldn't tell whether he was happy or sad. I was thinking that this man had already accompanied me through so much and so much. Now that almost all the hardships have been endured, shouldn't everyone be happy next, the husband and the son? Although I know Lao Wang is waiting for my answer, I still haven't spoken again. What can I say, scolding her for being moved by herself? Is it damaging her romantic brain? I know, the role I play is a listener. Seeing that I didn't react, old Wang smiled self-deprecatingly and continued, but I have to believe that the password on his phone used to be my birthday, and now I can't even try to unlock it. Oh, don't think I'm too suspicious, old Fong. Women's sixth sense is always accurate. Of course, if it's just a matter of phone password, I'm just speculating for no reason. But that day, I saw him sending a message with the note, wife, but my phone was quietly lying in my pocket. Chapter 7 Capturing Consorts and Seeing Shuang You are listening at NovelFull.audio Old Wang silently extinguished the cigarette, if that's just the case, I can pretend to know nothing and ask him for a certificate, because I really want to give my youth an explanation. The fact is that there are far more than that. On the night when my mother and her mother discussed obtaining the certificate, I happily went to find him and wanted to tell him the long-awaited news. I remember around six o'clock at that time, it was not completely dark, but when I arrived downstairs in his residential area, I found that his curtains were tightly closed. The various moments I had worried about before jumped into my heart. I walked up the stairs lightly, even though it was only three floors away, I felt like I had walked for a long, long time. As I walked to the door, I didn't even have to knock on it. The door didn't close at all. I walked in quietly, and my intuition guided me straight to the innermost bedroom. The future wedding room we had prepared. Lao Wang looked at the ceiling, but I still noticed the crystal clear in her eyes. They were so invested that I walked to the door and continued to be happy, the crystal clear had turned into mist, catch a traitor in bed, ha ha ha, it's his mother hasty, it's his mother bloody. You said this could happen to my sister. Old Wang clearly had a relaxed tone, but there were too many grievances and heartache. I disregarded their screams and ran out of my wedding room, running aimlessly on the street. I didn't know where I was going, I didn't want to go home, let alone go to my mother's place. I regretted not listening to my parents' advice at the age of 16, and by the age of 20.6, I would eventually suffer the consequences on my own. I have heard countless voices of opposition, but I still believe in my self-righteous love and his gradual progress towards marriage. Reality suffocates me, but I have to face it again. I bought a bottle of wine, drank it in two gulps, and bought all my money. As I walked, I drank more and more. I walked to a place that was completely unfamiliar, and I could hardly see the road and trees clearly. What happened later? This was the first time I had interjected after listening to her talk for so long. Later. Later, you picked her up and brought her home, old Wang said with a funny expression, holding his thigh. I could still easily detect her forced smile. Empathy is all nonsense. I originally wanted to pat Lao Wang's shoulder casually and comfort him with the words, scumbag is not worth it, but when it came to my mouth, it made me swallow it again. I understand that Lao Wang is not someone who is as unrestrained and carefree as she usually looks. 
her heart is more eager to be loved than anyone else, truly loved. She cherishes it so much that she did not consider how to face it the day she lost it. That's why this day has come, and she has shed her shell, so fragile. I heard me say, if you want to cry, cry. The man's arms are prepared for you today. She turned her head and looked at me quietly. For a long time, she laughed and said, Old house, you're so handsome. If we had met earlier, I would have considered marrying you. Lao Wan stood up, kicked the medicine bottles all over the ground and walked towards the sunny side, spitting out a silver white eye circle. The sunlight outside the window was so bright that I couldn't see the scenery clearly, only a dazzling white area. Actually, Old Wang has always been very beautiful, I thought to myself, but suddenly I heard Old Wang say coldly, he and she are getting married. Who? I almost instinctively blurted out. Lao Wang turned around and we looked at each other without speaking again. Chapter 8 Struggle you are listening at NovelFull.audio. That night while driving home, I kept thinking, can I heal this woman who has experienced so much? I am confident that I can comfort her, accompany her to relax, and make her forget the past I can wholeheartedly serve her and make her no longer experience pain but, is what I did what she wanted. How can I make up for her empty youth? I held one yushi in my hand after another, but as I sat in the car, I didn't open the car door and went home for a long time, letting the cars behind me that wanted to enter the warehouse resound incessantly. The smoke is gone, it's dawn. I looked at the red early sun on the horizon, but couldn't see the hope and belief it should give people. That is a suffocating red, unable to see tomorrow. The understanding and transparency of many things came in an instant. I finally felt that I didn't have the ability to embrace old Wang, and I hated myself for not having the right to give old Wang a future. I was just her safe haven, but not her ultimate harbor. All I can do is fold my hands together and pray for this unfortunate girl. Lao Wang committed suicide on the third day I left her place. Sleep Pills The most beautiful old Wang ultimately chose the most dignified way of walking. At old Wang's funeral, watching as he lay quietly pushed into the cremation room, I really wanted to rush up and grab her, explain to the staff that old Wang was just too tired, just take a break she is so carefree and outgoing, how could she be someone I can't imagine. I was still waiting for her to hold a cigarette, hold a drink, and boast about her carefree deeds to me. How could she, how could she just leave like this? But now, watching the heart-wrenching cries of old Wang's parents, the white-haired man sending the black-haired man, I can only say a seemingly insignificant phrase like an ordinary outsider. Let's go with our sorrows. Not far from me stood a man and woman of my age, expressionless, but the woman's light makeup on her face was so incongruous. It's them, I clenched my fists, my bulging veins were about to burst out, each grain clearly visible. But I couldn't wave it at them, I couldn't. I couldn't let old Wang leave unsatisfied and unclean. I think Lao Wang will never be able to leave. Even though half a year has passed, she has not let go of that man. In her own words, it's not because of how good this man is, but rather because he is terrible. She can't actually let go of that time. But if there were no more news about that grandson, and if she had known his news earlier and concealed it from Lao Wang, she might still have a chance to slowly heal her wounds. Unfortunately, fate did not meet people's wishes. Without it, the news of his grandson's marriage became the last straw that crushed the camel. Perhaps Lao Wang had been waiting for him, even if he had cheated, even if his heart no longer belonged to her. However, Lao Wang was still waiting for that tiny hope, extinguishing one's last glimmer of light, which was too terrifying. Perhaps old Wang had already thought of this moment, and she understood the truth better than anyone else. But being in this situation, the hurdle was insurmountable. At this moment, no one could keep old Wang who was about to leave, and naturally, I couldn't. Lao Wang left like this, everything she did was neat and straightforward, without any hesitation or hesitation. Lao Wang took away a part of my soul, and with her departure, a part of my life will forever rest with her. 
However, I still have to continue to crawl forward in pain and numbness like her. Chapter 9 Ending You are listening at NovelFull.audio That morning, I was awakened by a hurried knocking on the door. With dissatisfied eyes, I opened the door drowsily and found a package. The recipient was me, and the sender was Wang Nijia. I suddenly lost all sleep, sister, please don't scare me after calming down, I glanced at the shipping date and realized it was the day before she left. Open the package, inside are two jade streams and a letter. Old House Sir, when I think you're reading this letter, your old king may have already hiccuped. Don't scold me for being foolish. There aren't many people who can speak after living for half a lifetime. You're one of them. If you don't listen to me nagging, I'll be even more lonely when I leave. Old house, my sisters can't bear it anymore. I have loved him for eight years, eight years, and so much. I always thought that God was fair and beautiful to everyone, but his God is really good at joking. Can he tell me why he held my hand at the age of sixteen and said he would definitely marry me? At the age of twenty point two, he stayed up for several nights and crossed half of China to find me. He could say that the man who has always loved me is just lying happily on the bed of my new house with other women, without any trace. I don't understand, I don't understand why it's his fault, but my heart still hurts so much. The pain is so bone-wrenching, tearing apart my heart and lungs, making it impossible for me to breathe, I don't understand, I don't understand why I feel like I'm cool enough in my life, but I can't let go or let go, I don't understand, I don't understand why I understand that I have let go of everything. When I heard the news of his marriage, I couldn't help but burst into tears and my heart was twisted like a knife I don't understand unexpectedly, who could have thought of it. Walking the world with a sword, Wang Nijia, the most carefree person in his life, surprisingly becomes depressed. Whenever I feel upset, I almost forget who I am and what I need to do. The only thing I can do is grab my hair and cry, making people scared and terrifying. I tried my best to control it with medication, increasing the dosage. Despite the excruciating pain in my stomach, at least my heart felt a little better. I hate my current self. How can you expect others to like someone who even hates me? I know, I should go now. Do you remember the story I told you about Xuangsheng's, my Taoist friend? I think I'm not even as good as the poor Taoist nun with a long sword as her monument and white snow as her tomb. At least she's not afraid of falling in love and still has the right to be loved I stood on the balcony, feeling no fear, but not the kind of summoning of death depicted in novels. I looked down at the people in small groups on the street, as well as the intimate couples on the corner, but couldn't see happiness. I thought closing my eyes would be the end in an instant, but at that moment, I realized that I was thinking of you crazy. A familiar headache came knocking at me again. I retreated onto the sofa, trembling and finding your number. Listening to your anxious voice on the phone, I smiled very comfortably, but I still tasted the tears of crying at the corner of my mouth. Watching you really appear in front of me, I almost uncontrollably threw myself into your embrace. It was so warm, like the afterglow of a young sunset, enveloping my shattered body. I wish I could hold your hand and snuggle in your arms, but I can't. You are my son, but under your light, I can never be reborn again. I think that God allowed me to meet you at the last moment, which can also be considered as compensation for my life. Old Fong, your old Wang has left like this. You must take good care of her who has not yet appeared. In my next life, I will work hard to make old Fong and old Wang meet earlier Lao Wang the old house held the letter written to him by old Wang and cried uncontrollably. It was the first time this man had shed tears since his grandfather passed away. Finish Chapter 1 Love Originating from Kindergarten You are listening at NovelFull.audio Everyone knows that Xiao Sa likes Lu Zi, but Lu Zi doesn't know, everyone knows that Lu Zi likes Xiao Sa, but Lu Zi himself doesn't know. No wonder people always say that Lu Zi is promiscuous. Although Xiao Sa has not told Lu Zi about this matter, 
they all say that a boy is careful enough not to say such things. The problem is that Lu Zi, the eldest son of Lu, is busy all day long. If you don't tell him, he doesn't care, whether it's friendship or love. I asked Xiao Sa, when did you fall in love with my Lu Zi? Xiao Sa rolled his eyes and said, I can't say for myself, it's probably kindergarten. Stop, I widened my eyes. Big sister, do you dare to mature earlier, kindergarten? Probably, Xiao Sa recalled, I went to school earlier when I was the smallest. A group of boys always bullied me, and only Zian, Lu Zi, with a runny face stood in front of me. Protecting you. I looked gossipy as the story began during the period of open crotch pants. It's similar, but he's not very big either, so we often get bullied together. Huh, Lu Zi learned how to save beauty with heroes at a young age. Not only did he fail to save himself, but he also threw himself into it. I looked gloating. Later on, he became smarter and rushed over when he saw someone bullying me. Fighting. I thought to myself, it's not something that Lu Zi can do. Of course not, he rushed in and grabbed me, then the two of us ran together and hid in the classroom, Xiao Sa said seriously to me. So you fell in love with him. I scratched my nostrils and pulled back to the main topic, that's too much nonsense, isn't it? Yes, what's the problem? Xiao Sa asked me with wide eyes. There are too many problems, I sneered at Xiao Sa's admission. You're also good dot looking. This black, straight, and long-legged guy liked him so early. If it were an ordinary boy, he would have been with you 800 times. He doesn't seem to know I like him very much, Xiao Sa's face turned slightly red. No, 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 I was shocked. Lu Zi may not be made of wood, and he's not a fool. He's going to develop towards the direction of the Sea King in the past two years. Can he not even notice this kind of love between children and women? I didn't dare to tell him, Xiao Sa's eyebrows lowered. Nanny. I almost spat out a sip of water just now. What are you, a crush? Sazi, you heard my older brother say that if you really like someone, you have to confess and show your feelings, right? Then we can naturally be together. Lu Zi runs such a big company, how can he be considered a boss level? There must be a shortage of a hostess like you by his side. Forget it, Xiao Sa still blushed and waved his hand. What if Xian doesn't like me? What if he has a girl he likes? I can't stand it. I still feel good like this now. Is that good? I looked at Xiao Sa in front of me with a grudge against him. At weekly gatherings, the big cat and Lu Zi and our friends who close their eyes and rest their minds say more than you and Lu Zi do. I don't know if Lu Zi is careless or deliberately unable to see it. Every time you hide behind Ning Ning's body, your eyes are fixed on Lu Zi, don't you think everyone can't see it? So, did he also see it? Xiao Sa's tone was submissive, appearing to be worried about gains and losses. I fainted. 